Hey, what is up guys and welcome back to another niche focus video and today we are taking a look at what could be the best $60 Android budget smartphone out there currently. So this is the Blue Advanced 5. Now on Amazon and online it's running a little bit plus or minus 60 bucks. Uh, so needless to say it's a pretty inexpensive smartphone. Now what's cool about this is this is running some fairly latest software uh, on some pretty basic specs. So this is running Android 5.1 Lollipop out of the box. Now this is running a 1.3 gigahertz quad core processor with four gigs of RAM. So the nice thing about this is the battery has 1800 milliamps to it. And with that lower end processor actually helps give a significantly longer amount of battery life. Of course, where things start to hurt is performance. This is not the fancy Snapdragon, you know, 821 chip or anything like that. Uh, this is a very lower end budget smartphone. Even the GPU itself is a, haven't even heard of it before, to be honest, it's a, uh, it's a Mali 400. So this is pretty much a basic ARM processor and GPU. Uh, so for gaming and things like that, you're not really going to be using this. But again, for 60 bucks, I'm gonna keep reiterating that throughout the video probably, you're probably not expecting too much anyway. Now in terms of productivity and actually using the phone, uh, Blue, of course, has their own software out of the box, but pretty quickly I installed my favorite Android launcher besides the basic stock Google one. Uh, my Pixel's the only one that I don't have a separate launcher on is Nova Launcher. Obviously, a lot of people use it, a lot of people love it. Um, so I installed that pretty quickly and it gave a instant bump to the user interface and just the overall experience. So if you pick up one of these phones, I definitely recommend downloading Nova Launcher or something similar. Something that is definitely lightweight. You don't want any launcher that has um, a lot of heavy GPU or CPU needs uh, because it's not going to run very well on this phone. Now overall the build quality is uh, pretty good. It actually on the back uses that like fake leather feeling stuff that galaxies used to use. Uh, definitely no real metal around so you're not going to get a high end premium feel but it's not the cheapest feeling phone I've ever felt. The button layout is very basic as well. You have the power button and the volume rocker both on the right hand side. On top you get a headphone jack uh, and a micro USB connection so no USB type C here and I definitely not a fan of having the uh, charging port on top, but hey, to each is their own. The back does pop off fairly easily uh, so that you can install the battery, which means yes, you can replace the battery yourself or buy more in case you want multiple of them. Now the screen is where things start to get pretty disappointing. This isn't even a 720 screen. It's 480 by like 854. Uh, same 16 by nine aspect ratio, but the viewing angles are not very good. This is an IPS display. And because this is a 480 display, when you go to apps like YouTube or any video apps, you are going to be limited to viewing things at 480. Now on a five inch screen, to be honest, it's not the worst experience. It sounds a lot worse than what it actually is, especially for pixel people like me. Um, but to be honest, I initially thought it was like at least a 720p uh, display. So when I boosted up to 480 ugh, on the YouTube app, uh, you definitely can still watch uh, videos, it's still totally usable, again, in this price range. Uh, and funny enough, the sound I was actually pretty happy with. It's not stereo or front-facing speakers. They are shooting out of the bottom, um, just the single speaker, but uh, it's pretty good. It's pretty comparable to many other speakers on way higher-end phones anyway. I actually have a correction to make from before. I was reading uh, tech specs, and when I said four gigs of RAM before, actually I meant four gigs of internal storage. So this actually does have a micro SD card. Uh, it is expandable up to 64 gigs, but you only get four uh, internally. Now, what does that mean for the RAM exactly? Well, this has 768 megabytes of RAM. So not even one gig. Uh, when I read four gigs before, I was like, hmm, that definitely doesn't seem to come across in the performance aspect, but uh, if you told me there's 768 megabytes of RAM in there, well, it's it's actually pretty, uh, pretty solid. Now where I was disappointed most in this phone is, of course, well, the camera. 
Uh, it's got two cameras on it, front and back. You have a two megapixel front facing camera and a five megapixel on the rear. Simple enough, these cameras are complete garbage. Uh, if you just need to get the picture, I guess it will do it. Shutter lag is incredibly terrible. The user interface is very laggy. You do have some more pro options. It says HDR, good luck with that. And the video recordings, definitely no slow motion or 4K here. You can see some see some uh, side by sides between my iPhone 7 Plus and the Google Pixel here. And yeah, the low light performance, it just is muddy looking and noisy and yeah, definitely do not buy this phone if the camera is one of the most important things to you. So who exactly is this phone for? Well, I mean, it's a $60 Android phone. So maybe it's, uh, you know, your kid's first phone or it's a secondary phone that you take to travel uh, and you're traveling super light and you don't want to leave or lose your, you know, iPhone or $700 Google Pixel or expensive galaxy or anything like that and you just want kind of a throwaway dummy phone you know multitude of reasons you're definitely not going to get any waterproofing or 4k photos or screen but if you just want a smartphone uh, that has some productivity to it you can download apps and have the basic launchers and stuff like that this is a fantastic phone for all of those reasons so Definitely let me know what you guys think. Do you think there's a better sub $100 or around $100 Android phone out there? Um, let me know down in the comments below. And of course, if you wanna pick this phone up, I'll have it linked, uh, the Amazon link down below. Uh, but yeah, thanks so much for watching guys and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day.